right? Maybe, maybe they will tell you this, right? Whoever they are, they'll say evaluate 109 base 10 plus 136 base 10 using binary addition. Implicitly, what you're being asked to do is you convert 109 into binary, you convert 136 into binary or into base two, and then you add them using binary addition, right? Uh, perhaps a question would be flipped in such a way that the number is represented in base 16 here, and then you're saying add using binary addition. So you convert them into binary, and we, we know that this is easy, right? You're converting 109 into binary, just uh, repeatedly divide by two, and then you'll come up with, uh, with the answer, and then that's it, right? Oh, and there's, there's a solution here, actually, I didn't know. So you convert your, your 109 to, to base two, right? Using repeated division, this is, this is second nature now, uh, where you're saying you repeat divide 109 by two, and then you come up with this answer here, 101, 11011101, right? Um, and then you convert 136 as well, right? To, to base two, and then you come up with this answer, one, zero, 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 one, zero, zero, zero. Now you notice that what, what I've done here, what's been done here is uh, I'm using uh, eight bit representation because I know that 136 is a significantly large number. Because it's a significantly large number, when I'm adding these two numbers together, it's a lot easier when I represent them using the same bit representation. I don't know if I'm making sense. If you look at 109, it's represented using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bit representation. For my addition, if I'm using this step here, for my addition to make more sense from doing this for the first time, I want to make sure that I represent these bits using the same bit representation, right? And then I lay them down like so. This is my 109, this is my, my 136. And then I go through the same uh, sequence of events where I'm saying I will now uh, one and zero drop down one, or the answer is one, zero, carry zero. Zero and zero, it's zero. One and zero, it's one, I carry zero. One and one, I'll carry nothing. One and one, it's zero, carry one. Zero, zero, one is one, carry nothing. One and zero is one, carry nothing. One and zero is one, carry nothing. Zero and one is one, carry nothing, right? And you're done, really, right? Um, <clears throat> so I, I, I don't know if, uh, yes, hi. Uh, what if the other one has more bits than the other? This is, this is what, this is the kind of situation we have. Good, good question, by the way, it's like, um, so, and I know, right? So it's, it's, a, it's a bit hard for you to wrap your head around what we're doing right now because you're using this strange number system, right? But think about this for a second. How do we add when we have 16 and 3,300 and, okay. What do we do in base 10 when we are told to say add 17 and 3,000 300 and 40, 41. The way you are told by Miss Banda is you are told to say when you're adding these numbers, right? Well, usually you start with a large number, right? Apparently it makes more logical sense that way, but you can start with a small number if you want to. You are told to say, put them down like so, three, why am I doing this? You put three, three, four, one, and then you write 17 like so. Is it, this is what you are told, right? This is what you do. And then you start adding them. So you, you, you do the same thing for a binary. Now, now here's the thing, if you want actually, what, what you could have done is instead of adding, padding it or prefixing it with a zero, you could have just said, I will always add the larger magnitude, the largest number, uh, which is the one with more bits on top and then have the lower one below. So effectively what I'm saying here is that uh, instead of, and it's a great question by the way, because maybe it will lessen the uh, potential of people making mistakes when doing this. So observe, if I come here and I say, we're going to add, um, we're going to add this number here and uh, this number. Because one has less bits, you have two options, right? Why is this doing this? You have two options. It's either you will, you will say, I will add this. We're adding this and this, by the way. 
when, when you're doing you, whatever method you're, if you're using the method that Lightroom is showcasing to you, you're going to say we will have one zero 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 one zero zero zero. Like uh, Mr. Morim taught you in spreadsheet applications, you can just highlight and uh, double click and then this thing will be squished for you, right? So you can do this. You can start with the largest number and then put the lowest number here and then you say it's one, one, zero, one, one, zero, one. In which case you don't have to pad this with a zero. But the reason I padded this with a zero in this example is because I put the smaller number on top. When you have the smaller number on top, right? When you have the smaller number on, on top, it's, it's much, it's going to be a lot easier for you to pad this with a zero so that you don't get confused with the carry bits and whatnot. But you don't have to pad it with a zero if you want to, it doesn't matter really. Uh, it's one and the same thing, yeah? And then you start applying these. Padding it with the zero will really help you with the carry process, right? Because this would be your carry. And then this would be your answer or something, right? So you're saying, uh, what do you carry when you, you add one and zero? You carry nothing. The answer is one. Zero and zero, you carry nothing. The answer is zero. One and one, you carry nothing. The answer is one. One and one, you carry one, the answer is zero. Zero and zero, you carry nothing, the answer is zero. One, one and zero, you carry, and, and I'm doing this the wrong, I'm just going to and, and do this. So one, you want to carry to the next place for the one and zero, you carry nothing, the answer is one. Zero, 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 you carry nothing, the answer is zero. One, zero, zero, you carry nothing, the answer is one. One, one, zero, you carry one, the answer is zero. Zero, zero, one, you carry nothing, the answer is one. One, zero, zero, you carry nothing, the answer is one. One, zero, zero, you carry nothing, the answer is one. What? Zero, one, zero, one, right? You carry nothing, and then this is your answer here. Um, so really it's, um, I guess it's, um, we will have to go back in time, uh, uh, guys, and start doing, and I know it can be, it, it will feel frustrating at the beginning, but you want to go back in time and do exactly what you were taught to do in grade one when you're adding numbers on that plain piece of paper with a pencil. I don't know if they use pens now in grade one, but we were taught it was a privilege to use a pen in my time. We started using pens in grade five. Who does that? But anyway, uh, so if you want to get that plain piece of paper and start doing this on a plain piece of paper, and then once it sinks in, once you understand what's going on here, then you can do away with the paper.